Hi there, thanks for watching this. This is part of uh, the YouTube channel Seek the Truth. Uh, our aim is to point people to the truth of the Bible. We're not pushing a church, we're not pushing a particular aspect of Christianity, we're pointing to the simple truth of the Bible which we believe is the Word of God. And uh, this is part of a little series called Interesting Tales and it's a, a kind of sub-series about the Titanic so this is the first one of a few. Uh, this one is about a man called John Harper. Now, John Harper, he was uh, quite a well-known Baptist minister in Scotland. He uh, There's a church named the Harper Memorial Church in Glasgow. And uh, he's a pretty famous guy in his day. And he was travelling, or he's intending to travel to the United States and to go to Chicago to the, the Moody Memorial Church church he was going to be preaching there in the moody memorial church in chicago so he went to southampton and he boarded rms titanic on the 10th of april in 1912 of course his intention was to 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 get as far as uh, the north american continent and to get to chicago as you know as well as i do that that wasn't to be the case for many many travelers for 1,500, 1,500 souls were lost 400 miles off the coast of Canada on the 15th of April in 1912. Many of those souls were not ready to die. Could I be as intrusive and as personal as to ask you the question, are you ready? It is all very well having maybe not taken too much thought about the things of eternity, spiritual things, matters concerning God and life and all that type of stuff at this moment in your life. But there will come a day when that will be very, very pertinent and very, very vital that you know where you stand. I believe it's vital for today. I don't think being a Christian or trusting Jesus Christ is just about eternity. It's about daily living. It's about your morality today. It's about living your life for the glory of God on this planet as well as being in heaven in a future day. John Harper, being a Christian minister, he believed that with all his heart. And he really believed this book that we believe to be the word of God. And he trusted what God said and he proved that that day on the Titanic. As many of those souls were uh, facing potential death and many indeed faced death, John was of a different order. I find it heartbreaking when I see the detail of the story. He put his little daughter, for he was a widower, he was travelling with his daughter to the United States. He put his little girl into a lifeboat under the care and safety of another trusted person. And John set off to reach dying souls. He realised that not everybody in that boat was ready to meet God. And the Bible says very, very clearly we should prepare to meet God and that we need to be saved. And as I've said to you already, not just for death, but for life. But this was, you know, this is the, this was uh, when things got really tough. Maybe that's like, maybe that's similar to the circumstances you find yourself in life. Facing death, coping with illness, facing tragedy. And you wonder where to turn. But can I assure you today, you can turn to God. The Bible says that he says, well, the Lord Jesus said, Come unto me, all you that are weary and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He is intensely interested in you, and he wants you to know his blessing. But you need to come, and you need to come honestly, and you need to come confessing your wrong, and coming to God for to know his blessing. And that comes when you realise that he needs to forgive you for the wrong you've done, and you need to know cleansing and you need to know change through the redeeming work of God in your life. John was to eventually end up in those icy waters himself. And he spotted a fellow man, a traveller, a man, clinging to a piece of wood. And he shouted out to him, are you saved? And the man shouts back, no. And they drifted apart. Now, I don't know which stage, what stage he gave to this man his life jacket. But he gave this man his life jacket. For he realised this man was not ready to meet God. John knew that much as he didn't want to die, if he was to disappear beneath those icy waters, that he was ready to meet his maker. I ask you a question, the question, the key question again, are you ready? 
Where would you be if you were to die tonight? That's not scaremongering, that's reality. The Bible teaches there's heaven above, there's hell. There's a place of judgment as well as a place of blessing. God does not desire that you end up in hell. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Well, the man drifted towards John again and John shouted to him the second time, Are you saved? And the man shouted out again, No. And John shouted the words of, jo of at the book of Acts chapter 16, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And John, not long after, he plunged beneath those icy waters and was lost from sight. But thank God he wasn't lost. His soul had been saved many years before and he went to be with Christ. He was saved. He was forgiven. The man who was rescued, the, the man who was hanging onto the driftwood and who got the life, belt, the life jacket was eventually rescued. He ended up in Canada and he told his story that he had come to trust Jesus Christ through a man who shouted through the icy waves and the cold of that night, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You can be saved. I trust you'll not leave it to the last moment. I trust you'll come to know Jesus as your saviour. You'll confess your sin and realise that he died for you and that he rose from the dead and that you need his forgiveness and you can know his presence in life and live for his pleasure and his glory in this world. May God bless you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today.